The HOT3 missile or high subsonic optical remote guided tube launched missile which can be considered as a predecessor to the Hellfire missile is a 24.5 kilo 1.3 meter high explosive anti-tank round with a 6.48 kilogram tandem shaped charge on a two stage solid fuel rocket propulsion system which will propel this missile towards its target at 864 kilometers an hour or 240 meters a second. Minimum range 75 metres, maximum range 4.3 kilometres or 4,300 metres guided using semi-active command line of sight or sack loss as provided by the Vivian sighting system. The Vivian is a gyro stabilised sighting device which has direct view, IR capability and laser range finding out to 15 kilometres. Whilst each missile may weigh 24.5 kilos, the shared weight is 32 kilos each when you consider the tube and rack on each pylon, which adds substantial additional weight to this light attack helicopter. To combat this additional weight added by up to four HOT-3 missiles, the rack, pylon and by the IR Vivian sighting system, the engine and blades were upgraded to ensure optimum performance. The trade-off, however, is that less than 100% of fuel can be carried to ensure lift and balance the power to weight ratio. This makes the top speed of the SA342M Gazelle down to about 220 km an hour or 108 knots um, in this setup with four HOT-3 missiles, a Vivian sighting system and the maximum fuel that it can carry against its normal and considerable speed has to be said of about 300 km an hour where it's got no weaponry fitted. Right, let's jump in now and find out how to acquire a target using the Vivian sighting system and engage with the HOT-3 missile. Right GE, let's give this a go, shall we? Yeah. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn our master arm on. And um, if you're flying in multiplayer, you can have a mate that flies with you that can be the commander oblique uh, weapons officer. Um, but in this case, I'm going to fly... In, um, uh, I'm going to jump in the seat here and I'm going to own this particular part of this uh, mission. I'm going to try and do it all by using the mouse with the controls, but of course you can map most of these. I direct you to Cap at Grim Reapers, done a great video there on the uh, HOTAS and mapping. So um, I'm going to try and use the mouse so that you can see what's being pressed, etc. So let's uh, first of all turn on our display, which is our little TV screen for our Vivian system. This uh, toggle switch on the left, or the dial there, is for contrast. On the right is for brightness. It takes about 30 to 40 seconds for it to come alive. On the right-hand side here is our control panel here. We're going to turn that to on. Um, you notice that came on straight away, pretty much. But um, it does take about 30 seconds to warm up, I believe. On the right-hand side is our laser. We're going to turn that to on. And we're going to turn this switch here all the way to lock, which is uh, for our Vivian sighting system. Now, the Vivian sighting system can move independently to the helicopter all the way around 120 degrees. But, of course, our HOT-3 missile systems, as you can see, are not in any form of, uh, any form of um, uh, 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 gimbal system at all. They are fixed. This means that we have to have the helicopter um, bore sighted to our target area. In other words, we've got to be aligned to the target area. And this picture that we're looking at here is very important. Um, so um, if we right click on this little switch, we're going to zoom in. Left click, we're going to zoom out. Um, this button here, or this toggle switch here, will realign the um, uh, will realign the sight picture or the Vivienne to bore sight. What are you looking at here? You're looking at the sight picture, you're looking at the degrees um, off of center of the aircraft, left and right, and you're looking at a heading. Um, and uh, we'll see how that changes in a minute. First of all, let's acquire a target. So we want to turn this switch to manual, which means that we're going to be in control of the Vivienne system. We're going to move it and slew it wherever it is we want. Now, I happen to know that there's a target down here because I've placed it already. Uh, there it is. OK. Tally on ground targets. One times... Ooh, what is that now? All you ex-tankies. All you ex-anti-tanks. I'd say that was a BMP. BMP2 or BMP3, one of the two. Um, there we go, we've acquired our target. Uh, but we've acquired our target, uh, acquired our target. We haven't, we're not ready to fire on it yet. We've got several other things that we need to do, several other pieces of the workflow, if you like. We've zoomed all the way in. 
we can uh, press this button here to turn it to infrared which is obviously very useful for at night and if we do we then got two options white on black or black on white and so that we have then got a better sight picture we can change our, um, our, our sight reticule here to better afford us a better sight picture but we're happy with it in this mode we're zoomed in the way all the way on we've got our laser on so let's range it now uh, and the way in which we do that is we're going to release this safety catch here this safety toggle switch here and press this button 4.278 kilometers um, or 4278 meters maximum range of the hot three is 4300 so we're within range that's good um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the system so that we can actually engage the target and the way in which we do that is via our weapons panel at the bottom here right click once to day if we we're at night and we were using infrared we can right click it again to make sure that the night light is illuminated but we're in the day so day is fine and on the right hand side here is our pylon selection switch while left clicking and right clicking we can move this around there's zeros in between one to four for four pylons and the zeros are merely safety locations um, we're going to chuck that straight to pylon one so we're going to be firing on pylon one now, point to note about missions in DCS, particularly multiplayer, be very careful when it comes to lasing targets. A lot of old Russian platforms have got specialist laser warning receivers, and why give the game away that you've spotted the target? So, you know, be mindful of target acquisition. There's target acquisition for feeding intelligence to the rest of your teammates, but there's also target acquisition for engaging targets. Um, in this case, we know we're within range. Don't keep lasing, just laze once, get your range, and then get ready to fire. So let's have a quick uh, quick check. We've selected day. We're going to be firing during the day. We've selected pile on one. We've lased it. We've got master arm off. We're all ready to go, right? No, because we're now looking at the site picture, and we've got more information. Let's change this to white. And we can see here, G G which means gauche, i.e. right in French. My apologies for my French. If that was D010, it would be droite, or droite, i.e. we're to the left. Um, now, remember what I said, the Vivienne can move independently 120 degrees, but there's no gimbal system on the Hot 3, so we've got to align the helicopter to um, the... Uh, to, we've got to align the helicopter to where the Vivian is looking. The way in which we do that is by um, moving the. Uh, there is a, uh, a, a button that you can map which will move the helicopter, slew the helicopter, slave the helicopter. I knew I'd get there. Eventually, slave the helicopter and move the helicopter automatically to acquire zero degrees in other words bore sighted it's usually then quite wise just to remove your reticules there um, but we are now have not got the fault light on the weapons panel now point to note what we're also seeing here is that we have got um, a little oblong square here which means that the missile is ready to fire but we're not ready to fire yet because we've got the catch over the fire switch we lift the fire switch or they lift the toggle switch up quick check final check yes 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 aligned fire now the missile is gone now the points to note is that this is remotely guided whether that's wire or wireless depending on the model but the point is we're not tracking the missile we're looking at the target and we're tracking the target don't try and fly the missile just track the target um, this is a sack loss system, semi-automatic, not command system like a, the um, uh, um, I think it was a, you know Milan missile, for example, was uh, command line. Um, so this is semi-automatic. So just track the target. Now, if we wanted to then realign and regain another target, we can stay in exactly the same position, move our Vivienne system wherever it is that we want. Um, clearly, the further you zoom out the easier it is and the more ground you're going to cover and of course you can see here that the helicopter now is automatically moving because we're slaved it's automatically moving to wherever it is that we're moving our site picture to that's it 
you don't really need to know anything more than that the laser doesn't burn out which i'm sure it probably does in real life if you're at night make sure you flick to night make sure that you flick to the next pylon in order to re-engage and the great thing about uh this system is that we don't actually need to acquire a target to fire so um we can you know if you wanted to practice or whatever you can very easily or wanted to suppress a position or a potential position you can very easily do so rifle one in the air now of course we're flying the missile but as i said the general tactic with sackcloth do not fly the missile merely track the target shack and pile on three one away rifle cool you want to be on the other end of that would you shack um now we know that the range is 4.3 kilometers that does not mean however that you can't engage a target further than that particularly if it's stationary try it set it up yourself i won't give you a demo i've taken long enough of your time on this one um, but you can very easily engage targets much much further than 4.3 kilometers um, you just lose control of tracking the target Remember, you're not flying the missile. Tracking the target at 4.3 kilometres. Let's say, for example, there was a target in that field. Then it's perfectly possible that the missile, depending on your altitude, will have enough um, energy, enough oomph behind it, if you like, to be able to reach that target. Um, so let's try that. Rifle. Now remember, I'm going to lose control of it around about 4.3 kilometers and so it's at that point that it's pretty much so you might want to loft it or whatever but it's it's on its own now i'm still tracking i'm still tracking but now i've lost control of it where does the missile go so there we go you know the other side of the lake is where it went um having lofted um around about there i suppose so probably where the zero zero is now you could very easily range that so that's 4.8 kilometers so you now know that an altitude of uh 150 meters 150 meters you're able to engage a target at 4.8 kilometers if you uh if you put your crosshairs put your crosshairs on the target to align it let's say the target was there and then move your crosshairs the center of the sight picture there to where the just underneath the zero zero there so if you were to fire a missile at that place there you'd probably hit the target that you re previously were looking at now that's not going to be really accurate clearly but if you've got a load of infantry there or if you're being asked to put suppressive fire down or fire on a particular location particularly if it's a built-up area or whatever then there's absolutely no reason why you couldn't use that as a tactic 150 meters 4.8 kilometers place the crosshairs on the target um, and know that if you move the target to where the zero zero was you're going to be there or thereabouts and we know that because we've just, we've just given that demonstration give or might give or take wind and so forth right there we go no nothing more to be said really is there um the only bad thing i think that i've got to say about the hot threes well two things really one you've only got four of them to play with but this is a light attack helicopter after all and two 4.3 k's well you better be using pop-ups um, and uh, be very careful because uh, a lot of systems have got um, weapon systems that can engage you much much closer uh, much further away rather than 4.3 kilometers so uh, be careful of it now one of the final things to mention is that you can fire this on the move up to about 180 kilometers per hour um, and of course you can engage moving targets but remember track the target don't fly the missile right till the next video take care bye bye